Oh my, we might just get the tier 0 god DPS Sophia, followed by the broken character Augusta in mid-September? Oh wow, it's coming very very fast and I hope you have saved up for them. Hey everyone, Tomias here and welcome to another Sword of Convalaria video. As you can see, I am bringing you guys the updated global banner schedule guide for you guys to maximize your chances in getting some of these extremely, extremely broken characters. And uh, I've updated them on my spreadsheet, so I'll have a link down below so you can check them out. And I've gone through the C and tier list as well in the updated one so we can see what their future viabilities are looking like. And the most importantly, thank you to the developers, I've got access to the early test builds of the game and a huge disclaimer okay and they've asked me to say it as well anything can change this is an unofficial build so anything can still change the devs can change up the banners but uh, you know what we are gonna have to do our best and provide an educated guess based on the timelines to see what characters are coming up next because as you can see here we've got Ida a character that is currently not in game in our official game yet but uh, her banner is here and it will run until the 29th now if you go into the in-game banner at the moment the debut banner is Gloria and her banner will run until the 15th I believe which means we are on a two week schedule at least for the debut banners so this means that uh, on the 15th when Gloria's banner is done we are going to get Ida next okay so um looks like the timing will match and of course we've also got the coal and barrel banner followed by the other dual banner which is lilywell and uh, alex okay and this should be running after the samantha and the dentilia banner but we don't know anything can still change at this point so that's the disclaimer i have to make but based on the test builds and based on the release schedule of the uh, cn side we can or the Taiwan side and we can see what we are working with whoa did you know that you can play sword of convalaria on the browser that's right you don't even have to download the game anymore you can just open up your internet browser and play the game via easy fun this cloud gaming mobile device is absolutely crazy look how smooth this looks and everyone is able to now play sword of convalaria via their internet browser so what are you waiting for come check this out use my link down below to try out the game on your browser straight from the PC or your mobile devices. This is truly revolutionary. So taking a look at the uh, schedule based on the Taiwan server, you can see that um, their banner started out with Nona Whale, right? But this doesn't really work for Global because we already have the character in game. So it's going to be a bit different. So you can see we skip everything in the first line because a lot of these characters are already in game and we go straight to Ida. And we already have Momo and Alex as well. So the next character we are looking at is probably Simona and the Sophia and uh, Augusta. So you can see that absolutely crazy with the banner schedule looking like this. We have Ida, a really, really good tier 0 support, tier 0 0.5 probably later on. But um, ignore this dual banner. I might just remove it because it's distracting people but we were going to Simona which I honestly think you probably have to skip if our two banners are truly truly going to be Sophia into the broken guy Augusta okay these two characters are still tier zero after the release and they are so damn strong so these two characters must must grab and looking at some of the early reroll guides and my tier list guide if you follow my advice you are probably sitting on an account with about 60 to 80 plus pulls and uh, you've got your Gloria you've got either Cole or Bear or one of the two and you're sitting pretty okay that's completely fine because looking at the early CN guides they have said that we are are sitting at around 250 to 300 pulls at the game's launch this is including all of the gifts in the beginning and then uh, all of the achievements and all the pvp and other stuff but achievements make up of a huge a significant portion of your income but we're not going to achieve everything in the achievement section obviously so you are probably going to be looking at instead 150 to 200 pulls but if you did your reroll and you start saving now going into the Sophia and the Augusta banner, you are going to be sitting very, very pretty at uh, at least one pity, right? So uh, if you're free to play every month, you'll get about 30 pulls, 40 if you buy the monthly pass and whatnot. So you should be able to secure these two characters. And even though you see the next two characters, Kurokoa and uh, Akambe, or whatever his name is, um, right here, Kokoa and Aka, these two characters also tier 0 or tier 0 0.5 you have to make a choice and Sophia and uh, the other characters are just way too good okay way too good so 
my plan currently, if I were free to play, uh, I'll try my luck on Ida because I read all a really, really good banner. So basically, I have zero pulls after I finish the reroll, right? Which is 26 pulls to secure my account. Uh, Gloria and all that stuff, uh, Barrel Cole and Inanna. Uh, Inanna. So um, I will drop a few pulls on Ida and then maybe skip Simona and then go straight in for these two characters. Absolutely bust. And then looking ahead, there are some tier ones that uh, you can choose, you know, here and there. But most importantly, January, which is, uh, I would say, uh, half anniversary, around half anniversary, we might have the anniversary character, which absolutely looks beautiful. I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything, but just look at this art. Wow, she looks so stunning. One of my character, uh, favorite character designs in this game. So this is who I'm going to 100% guarantee and save for. But uh, looking at the guide, and again, I'll update this sheet as well so you get the most updated information because this test build may change and if it does i'll update that information as well but looking at what the information we have so far based on like i've said the um uh, schedule release the uh, taiwan server release we can already see that it's going to be quite a packed schedule so you really really have to plan ahead otherwise you are going to miss out on some of your favorite characters but everything else um you have quite a few tier ones or tier 1.5s in between that uh, may be a good time for you to just sit back and relax and don't forget every time these characters are finished as in their debut banner is done they will be added to the general pool so you can luck sack them uh, when you're pulling for some other characters or you can get them from somewhere else okay so there's always a chance to get a character from the previous banner uh, if i guess you get lucky or unlucky however you look at it so don't worry but make sure that if you are going for certain tier zero characters that you are saving for them and you plan ahead otherwise yeah i mean it's ultimately uh I would say a very PvE focused journey, so technically you don't have to, but with the announcement of um, Guild versus Guild in the future and then RTA Real Time Arena, we might be looking at, you know, picking up some of these characters much more aggressively, but who knows, but this is the global schedule, um, again, like I've said. From the official sources, anything can change at a given notice, right? So uh, use this as a guide to see what is coming. Use these images to guide your heart and to see who you want to pull. And I'll update the tiers and also provide more notes on the characters as we approach. Or at least we get some confirmation, see if this is accurate at least, right? The Ida, Ida banner. And uh, yeah, we have got the CN tier list as well here. Uh, so let's just see how it goes and uh, keep you guys posted on the global schedule and hopefully you guys luck sack and get uh, a few good copies all right because yeah some of these characters are just absolutely bonkers so uh, Ida I guess since we're here we can take a quick look at some of the skills you can see that uh, you know Ida gives damage magic defense move and dispels disruption so pretty good support skill into a reaction decreases damage taken if there's items around the character and also a passive if there's any item so she utilizes the item and she does um I believe she I need to double check. I haven't checked her skill. Character guys will be, uh, but she definitely uses item manipulation a lot. Um, you can see that um, there's a lot of supporting aspects to it as well. So um, character design is pretty nice as well. Uh, dual banners, usually I don't try to pull for them because, yeah, it's 50-50% uh, chance. Uh, even though the SSR rate for the Elm banner is higher, it's 75 to get the 50 instead of 50 50 um, so realistically looking at uh, 32 point no i can't math 70 no 37.5 or something okay and that's what we are working with half of 75 is what i'm trying to go for for the dual banners but uh yeah initially we just had it for the coal and bear reroll but uh davy banner is where you should be spending your resources anyhow i digress yeah i'll keep this updated um future banners might be coming up uh, but uh, again, anything can change, so who knows, who knows. Make sure you are saving up for these Tier 1 characters, though, because uh, they are really, really game-changing. So anyhow, it's Tamias here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. And goodbye now.